Hi, I'm Sherry Kazawi, and what I'm going to do right now is show you the process of how to show value in a drawing. And value are the dark, are the can't see, are the dark and light areas. So I'm going to do a very easy art project. What I would suggest is that you take some kind of an animal picture, like the bunny, and you Xerox copy it so it's in black and white. And that way you can really see the dark and light areas in your picture. And then you can actually use any colors you want. It doesn't have to be the original color. You can turn it into any color. So let's get started. I'm going to first um, cut out the image of the bunny and trace it, because it's a very simple way for you to learn to get the basic shape. And then I'm going to show you how to look for the dark areas inside of the drawing and recreate them in another color. And hopefully it will have shape and form and look like a real bunny. What I am drawing right now is just an, a little sketch of the rabbit and what I think I see because I'm using this picture here to kind of trace a quick gesture drawing. Here's the eye. And the way I measure is I'll look at this, and this looks like it's a half inch from this to this, from, from this to this. It's about a half inch. So I'm just kind of eyeballing where things are. And this top of the nose here, that's about that much from the bottom of the eye, and that is where it starts. So you can use your pencil as a ruler to help you figure out where things are. This right here, from here to the lip, is there. And then there's this mouth right here, the bunny mouth. It doesn't look like a happy bunny. Et dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup et le renard chanter. Et dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup et le renard chanter. J'entends le loup, le renard et la volette. J'entends le loup, le renard chanter. J'entends le loup, le renard et la volette. So this is just called a gesture drawing. I'm just kind of creating what I see. So now this bunny can be any color. It doesn't have to be a black and white bunny. So I'm going to look at the original picture. And we have a lot of light areas all around the cheeks and the forehead of the bunny and around the mouth and then underneath the chin. So I'm going to use my lightest shade of blue, since we're going to make this a blue bunny. And I'm going to start drawing where I see the lighter areas with this light blue. Et dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup et le renard chanter. Et dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup et le renard chanter. The next color would be a little bit lighter of a blue, because we're going to go from the lightest colors to the darkest colors. And I'm going to start kind of going around where I see a little bit of darker areas in the bunny, like around the eye has a little shadowing around this part around the nose and the mouth, and around the eye up here, and a little bit on the ear. I'm going to use a darker blue now to go in and show some of these darker areas on the bunny in here and in here and under here. <laughs> 
C'est dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup le renard chanter. Et dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup le renard chanter. J'entends le loup le renard et la volette, j'entends le loup le renard chanter. It looks like there's even a darker shade of value in here and in here and a little bit on the ears and down under here. And maybe even the line in here and the eyes are dark. So we're going to start going a lot darker now. C'est dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup le renard chanter. Et dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup le renard chanter. J'entends le loup le renard et la volette, j'entends le loup le renard chanter. J'entends le loup le renard et la volette, j'entends le loup le renard chanter. Je suis mon Michaud, son petit poulain, il est passé dans le pays. Now I'm going to go back in and use my light color again to just highlight some of the lighter areas that we did before. Kind of go back in and make sure where there's white, there should be white. C'est dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup le renard chanter. C'est dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup Okay, I am going to pull in a little bit of a cool gray to represent um, just the outside line to highlight everything now. C'est dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup le renard chanter. With a little bit more like fur, so I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of that blue to make some of it look a little bit furrier. So I'm trying to draw hair right now. And then where, wherever I feel like an area needs to be softened, I'm going to go back in and just soften it a little bit with a, my sponge brush. And I'm going in the strokes that the hair would grow. So I do see there's more, you know, these light bunny things coming out of his um, whiskers. He's got whiskers I didn't even notice until now. Some of them are kind of big. This reminds me of something from uh, Snow White, one of those little bunnies in the forest. If you want to highlight the eye, you can put a little piece of white in there and it makes the uh, eyes come alive. So. Go ahead and experiment by taking a picture and Xerox copy it in black and white and look at the shades of grays and dark colors and then the light colors. That's called the value in art and that's what gives something shape and form. So have fun with this project and experiment. So thanks for tuning in to the Wowick Zowie Art Show. Bye everyone. C'est dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup le renard chanter. Et dans dix ans, je m'en irai, j'entends le loup le renard chanter. J'entends le loup le renard et la volette, j'entends le loup le